In this video, we are going to see the structure of SO2 molecule that is the complete hybridization what you will see on sulfur in SO2 molecule. To know that better, let us first select the central atom here and the central atom here is sulfur. Very very important is the first is you have to select the central atom. If I try to draw the rough structure for SO2, the structure will be in this way like your CO2 molecule. And you know that the first bond which is formed here is a sigma bond. So there are two sigma and two pi bonds here. Now out of those four bonds, what I have to form is two sigma and two pi. Now students, whatever the number of pi bonds are formed, those many number of orbitals, I have to keep them unhybridized. So taking into consideration this, let us start for the hybridization. So sulfur atomic number is 16. Let us write its electronic configuration in ground state. How to write the electronic configuration? What are the shortcuts? Please you refer to my other videos. Here the atomic number is 16. So its electronic configuration is 3s2, 3p4 and I will keep the 3d orbital vacant here because in case the excitation required I can use this. Let us fill the electrons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this way I have filled the electrons and 3D I kept it vacant. Now how many bonds I have to form in all? There are 4 bonds. So I need 4 unpaired electrons here in the ground state. But as you see here there are only 2 unpaired electrons and therefore the excited state must be carried out. So what will be the sulfur in the excited state will be 1s2 that is here sorry 3s2 it will remain as it is and one electron from 3p will get excited to 3d. So what will be the electronic configuration here will be this electron this will get excited from this to this orbital. So the electrons will be 1 1 1 and 1. So I have now created 4 unpaired electrons according to the number of bonds. But students, how many bonds I want to form in the sigma form? They are only two and I need two pi bonds. So out of those four unpaired electrons, I have to keep two unpaired electrons as it is without undergoing hybridization. So what will be the hybridized state? It will be 3s2. I will take two from here for this in this way. So what I will get here is... Now, as they are getting hybridized, their energy level should get equalized. And so, the orbitals will be in this way. This is what I have. So, I will call them 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals. Why sp2? Because this is s and 2p from here. So, I will get 1, 2, 1, 1. So, they are 3 sp2 hybrid orbits. And then I will have this one which is not involved in hybridization as it is. So which is your this orbital students? This is your 3p and the 3d what is remaining here. Rest all d are they are all vacant. So I am interested in this. The, which is this? This is 3d. Now the molecule is ready that I can draw the structure. For that let us go to oxygen electronic configuration. For oxygen as you have two oxygen atoms here. I am writing the first oxygen on this side and the second oxygen on this side to make you understand what is the electronic configuration for oxygen student it is 1s2 2s sorry 2s2 or i will draw here 2s2 and 2p 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 this is the way you have to fill the electrons so this is your again 1s2, 2s2, so 1, 2, 1, 1, 1 and 1. So this is your 1s2, 2s2 and 2p4. This is also 1s2, 2s2 and 2p4. Now let us see how what type of hybridization it will undergo is sp2. Now you can please focus on this how I am overlapping the orbitals here now. 
the first type of bond which will be formed. Now I am considering the first oxygen. So the overlap will be between this unpaired electron and this electron. What type of bond is this student? This is your sigma bond. So the first bond which is formed is a sigma bond. Now as the first sigma bond formation is over, I will move on to this oxygen. So this will be your second sigma bond which will be formed. I hope you understood this. The unpaired electrons only will take part here. So this is your first sigma. This is your second sigma. This is which atom students? This is sulfur. So what type of bond you will get here is sulfur. This is the first oxygen sigma bond. This is the second oxygen sigma bond. So this is the skeleton. Now what is left? The left is this 2p and this 2p of the two oxygen atoms and 3p of sulfur and 3d of sulfur. So let us say that this is the first bond overlap or what I will get here. This is the first bond. So it will be your p p. But as it is unhybridized, what I will get here is a p pi p pi interaction or a bond, which will be the next one, student. This 3d will form a bond with this p. So what type of bond will be this? On this side, this is your second bond that is p pi b pi. Right, student? So this is how the molecule is formed. If I see oxygen here, how many lone pairs are there? If I see, this is a non-bonding electron. So one electron pair, second electron pair. So there are two lone pairs on oxygen. Same here, this is non-bonding. So two lone pairs here on oxygen and one sulfur, this particular is also on sulfur in this way. So this is the lone pair. Let us draw the structure and study the geometry and the bond angle for SO2. So the structure for SO2 molecule will be something like this. This is sulfur. This is your first oxygen, second oxygen. They are the sigma bonds. And then the pi bonds, they are formed. Students, it is not necessary that this side, it should have p pi, p pi. It can be p pi, d pi on this side and p pi, p pi on this side. So then let us write p pi and p pi and this is your p pi, d pi. And this is your lone pair, which is on the head of sulfur. How many lone pairs? Two lone pairs here in this way. Now, what is the bond angle? Regular bond angle. So, what is the regular bond angle for sp2 hybridization? Regular bond angle is 120 degree. But as there is a lone pair, you know that the lone pair, bond pair interactions, they are operating here. That is lone pair, bond pair interactions. Same on this side also, that is lone pair, bond pair. So, what will happen? This lone pair will move on both the sides and it will push the lone, this particular bonds down. So what will happen to the bond angle? It will decrease to 119 degree. Right students? So hybridization here, what is seen? Hybridization is sp2. Regular bond angle is 120, but in the molecule it is now 119. Now very important, what is the geometry? So the geometry here expected is angular. But what is happening to the molecule? It is getting bent. So the geometry which is seen here is bent. So what is the bond angle? 119. What is the geometry? Is bent. So as you know, as I said, this can be p pi, p pi and p pi, d pi on any one side. Let us see what is the structure here. So students, we draw a resonance structure for this and the structure will be in this way. Very easy molecule. Other molecules will be trying in our next videos. That is PCL5, PCL3, this type of hybridizations. Shortcuts related to hybridization will be given in videos. So please, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe it. So what is the bond angle here is 119 degree and the geometry is bent. Thank you students.